My name is Mark Clements, and I am with the campaign uh, to end the death penalty. And today, uh, I'm coming to you, and I'm pleading with you, the people. Uh, I've asked everyone to place Mr. Rodney Reed, his mother Sandra Reed, and the Reed family in prayer. Uh, as we uh, continue to mobilize around the case of Rodney Reed. Uh, Rodney Reed is a young man that entered into a interracial relationship in Bass Drop, Texas. Uh, this is a county um, that is known for his unfair practices and racism. We must be real. Uh, here it is a man that is arrested, uh, being arrested, what the system wants to try to make it appear to be is that because his DNA was found in the victim. Now you have to listen to this, people, because some of you got sons at home, you got daughters at home, you got grandkids, and you're wondering why wrongful convictions occur. Think. We are a society and especially inside of our churches. We have become to be a society which we only want to get up when it affects us. What has that gained us as a people? It's gained us to fall father and father and father when it comes to innocence. Uh, I believe that innocence matter. People, if innocence don't matter, then something is wrong. Now I'm going to explain to you why I know that Mr. Rodney Reed is innocent. He has this interracial relationship, having the interracial relationship, um, she's involved with a police officer in Texas. Matter of fact, they're engaged, engaged to be married. The police officer He's overheard by several people, you know, letting it be known that, hey, if he ever found out that his girlfriend cheated, man, it's, it's going to be rough. Come on, let's, let's deal with it like it should be. Many of you are wondering why wrongful convictions occur. Giving away your tax dollars thinking that stuff cool because you want to sit on your rear ear. This is why he's innocent. Here it is, you have a police officer. The police officer is someone that is going to be protected by his department, his colleagues. The police officer is heard stating what he would do if his girlfriend cheated on him. Then it goes on and it basically uh, she's found dead shortly thereafter. Rodney was seen with this young lady. They were dating. And I'm talking about on several occasions. He met her in a town and she was playing the jukebox in 1995, their relationship 
You know how it is when you're sneaking. Come on, let's keep it real. So when you're sneaking, you're meeting here, you're meeting there, you're meeting, you know, here and there. People wake up. Yeah, his DNA was found because guess what? He had sex with her and he had sex with her more than one occasion. If you're involved in a relationship with someone or no sex, come on, keep it real. So now that her DNA is found in Stacy, meaning his DNA is found in Stacy. You know, officials want to make this out of a big thing. Because now, guess what? He's poor, he black, he come from the underprivileged community. Coming from that community, now he hires legal counsel. Uh-oh. People, wake up. You either win or lose a case at the trial level. Meaning it's going to determine if the person walk out of the courtroom or if the person is going to be found guilty. In Rodney's situation, he explains of the sexual affair. His involvement with this young lady, Stacy Stites, 19 years old. He explains it. So when he explains it, it's not good enough. Now, the legal counsel responsibility was to get up and to really do a full and fair investigation, and they didn't. Let me explain to you. That's what happened in the Rampart scandal. These attorneys who were uh, assigned to represent these guys, man, them attorneys, man, they didn't get up and go and do no full-fledged investigations. Like in the Burge tortures that dealt with myself, man, the attorneys, man, they looking at the fact, here it is, some black folks coming in here claiming that, hey, they genitals and testicles is being grabbed. Ah, oh, sure, we don't. Most of them had that mindset. So their plea was that you had to be crazy. That defense didn't work. So guess what? You went to prison. Innocent or guilty. That's where you went. To prison. Where does reasonable doubt come in, ladies and gentlemen? Reasonable doubt. Where that innocence matter. We must protect our rights. I'm asking you all to get involved into the Rodney Reed case. You can learn more about Rodney's case by simply going to www.nodeathpenalty.org. Please join in this fight. Texas, we must get up. And we must understand how to fight in unity. Thank you.